I wanted to build a platform with a few very specific requirements. Uh, first of all, I wanted to be light. Uh, second of all, I wanted to build it from the materials that I had on hand. So kind of a, on the budget with things that I already had at home. I also wanted to maintain uh, and keep the storage, the third row, of, uh, the third row of seat storage uh, for recovery gear and other things. Uh, but I also wanted to be somewhat removable so I could take it in and out. Um, and so I didn't want to go heavy duty. I wanted to make it light. So this video describes my process of getting there and hopefully it'll help you to get there as well or provide some ideas uh, for your project. I picked up this piece of uh, quarter inch plywood at the local uh, van conversion shop for free. So I knew it was a little thin, but uh, so I had to think about how I'm gonna reinforce and frame it so um, that it holds the weight. For the frame, I used some one by one posts that I found, as well as L brackets to reinforce them. I applied a coat of spray paint. I also wanted to go with the accordion design so that I can easily fold in and out whenever I need it without having to have a separate piece uh, attached. So I used some hinges to make that work. I picked up the hinges and some carpet at the local hardware store. I believe the hinges were about $13 a piece. I uh, had to get two of them and carpet was $30 for a roll and got to work on wrapping the platform. I was pretty pleased the way things turned out so far. Uh, I was able to fit these Costco storage organizers uh, and as a matter of fact I got another one that fits on the other side I still have access to my storage compartment which is not blocked by a platform um, it folds in nicely lays down flat so I can deploy it whenever I need it and next thing to work on is the actual supports for the uh, for the other end This is my solution to this back support. I wanted something that was uh, movable so I can kind of relocate it when needed, but also not take up a lot of space when it's to store it. So this one will be flexible where I'm gonna put it in case I have to thing stuff underneath the, the platform. It's supposed to work like this. So I can put it kind of whatever I want. I can move around if needed. And uh, if there is a little bit of a play, because it's hinged, it will kind of maintain its uh, place. Or lean it against. still got all this space to store stuff. I can't wait to test it out and see how it uh, performs in the wild. Hopefully this will give you some ideas for your project. Meanwhile, thank you for watching Explore and Conquer.